man who raised over $55,000 to make potato salad. We were discussing that during one of the breaks here. So that's what? right right there. Yeah, one of those Indiegogo campaigns. Apparently, he was going to make some potato salad, and the people support it. They are behind him. I got th- this Indiegogo thing, man. I just don't get it. People, people will, you know, want me to help them do their Indiegogo campaigns, and I certainly have. We've we've had some success with it, but at the same time, you know, it seems like some people get some radical things going and and really make you know market these things well. I don't know. It's baffling to me. Fifty five thousand dollars to make potato salad. I saw uh, Ian Chaffee, the guy who runs uh, Liberty Fest NYC, which I will be debating Jeffrey Tucker at in October. Oh, okay. We've never been invited. I wouldn't know. Oh, well, you should uh, <laughs> you should just buy a ticket and come because it's a good time. But I'm going to stay out of New York if I can avoid it. Well, that's there's something to be said for that. But in any case, he he put up like a, uh, I think he did a gun, GoFundMe, not uh, Indiegogo. Mm-hmm. And he was like, uh, pay for me to live in Disneyland for one year. And I was what? like, what are you talking And I don't think he raised the money. People were like, oh, are you just, out of your mind? It was one like, of those things where he just wanted to see if people would do it. Yeah, I guess he wanted to go live in Disneyland for a year. I don't mm-hmm. know. I think he was lost his mind, frankly, right? Oh, and, right? And he's just crazy and was like, maybe people will just like pay me to go like live in Disneyland. And uh, I don't think would. it panned out too well, but people do these things. Right. So wait, this wasn't even like a, a, like the, the potato salad was not like a fundraiser gimmick for no. something else. He was like, pay me $55,000 to yeah. make potato salad. I kind of feel like you have to believe in the magic of... Uh, you know, like the magic the socialists might believe in, that people are just, you know, that way that they would do potato salad to, in order to do it. Libertarians are never going to believe strongly enough that someone would give them fifty five thousand dollars for potato salad or pay them to live in Disney World. That they just can't. It's not the faith behind the magic. You know what I mean? Right. They don't have it's, it. I'm I'm just like, hey, this is not sound economic policy. And I, I'm, I'm thinking of this as if, uh, you know, we're. we're uh, in terms of Rothbardian anarcho-capitalist economics, like this does not seem like a sound investment. And other people are like, well, no, it'd be great if I just gave this guy like all my money so that he could make potato salad. And yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to actually come through with uh, you know his plans here. So I'm looking at this as a Kickstarter, apparently not an Indiegogo. Now the difference is, as I understand it, Kickstarter, you only get the money if you reach your goal. Indiegogo will go ahead and give you whatever you've raised basically now they take a fee off the top obviously but after the fee whatever right. you've raised they'll give you even even if you didn't make the goal this guy did make his goal his initial goal was ten dollars uh and his uh, target at this point is or the, the 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 amount he's raised it's now time is up uh fifty five thousand four hundred ninety two dollars with about six thousand nine hundred and eleven people backing him up this is the audacity of hope to uh to take another uh Wicked Thief's uh, line. Um, (laughs) This man, you know, people wanted to throw him, everybody wants to throw him 10 bucks because he was willing to to put up an Indiegogo for $10 Mm. to make potato salad. I get it now. I mean, this is just, yeah, you trolled the internet. Good job. Here's Here's a five spot. But he's not going to, I don't think he's going to be able to really uh, follow through with his promises, right? Because a lot of these things, you got to have the perks. I mean, you don't have to, but I've never seen a fundraiser without the perks. But but if his, if his promise is, I will make potato salad, and mm. the funds have been raised, I'm pretty sure with 55 grand, he's capable of making some potato salad. That's true, but I'm talking about the perks, right? So his goal was to raise this amount of money to make potato salad. But in order to reach that goal, he offered his customers, if you will, the pledgers, perks. You get these what? bennies. You get these things. Like, so I'm gonna, I'll go through his perks, and we'll see if you think that he can actually I follow through I will mail with you this. some potato salad, which will be rancid by the time it gets through the snail mail. And- <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it at that with, point. <laughs> with your help, this is if you pledge a dollar or more, and 2,085 people took this level of, uh, of pledge. We'll be on our way to a successful potato salad. You will get a thank you posted on our website, and I will say your name out loud while making the potato salad. <laughs> now, if he's only going to make one batch of potato salad, then I don't know how long that's going to take him. I suppose he could sort of make that batch over a period of days. See, they're trolling this guy back now. <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah? You think you're going to say everybody's name who's given? No problem. Here's 50 cents. It's like, what happens if he reneges on the offer? If he, you know, isn't able to follow through with all these promises, he may have a bunch of upset customers here, pledgers. Uh, and to pledge $2 or more, you will receive a photo of him making the potato salad, a thank you posted to our website. By a photo, does he mean something sent through the mail? It doesn't. I don't that's not made clear. Okay. I imagine that will be an email. 
But uh, and he says, I will say your name out loud while making the potato salad. Well, one thing I know for certain is is that you can mass email people who uh, pledge. Right? Sure, with these so, things, yeah. So you course. can probably mass email people with a picture of you making uh, yes. the potato salad. I even think if you, can you can do give that the picture one. to the people who only gave a dollar instead of the people who gave two dollars, you're still fulfilling when you yes. give it to everybody. I think that he will be able to do that, and it's likely that he can email people based on their group of pledge. And as who well. knows what incantations he mutters across the uh, the potato a salad as he's making it. Um, I mean, there's no real way to prove whether or not he has said your name. Well, oh, I see what you mean. He's not necessarily. Yeah, that's a good point. If he's not recording the making of the potato salad. Well, going on here, pledging $3 or more uh, to over 1,200 backers on this, you will receive a bite of the potato salad. A photo, the thank you on the website, and you'll say your, you'll is this say your name bite out loud. As in a <laughs> Do you have to be there in person to receive the bite? Or you, I guess not. Because right, the, like other the bite one... has been proffered. I didn't say that I was going to send you the bite. Yeah. But receive does kind of it indicate It sounds send. like he'll be sending something. So, I mean, at $3, he would likely be able to send that out and yeah. still be all right. Because, you know, cover the cost of postage. You can probably send a bite for less than 50 I don't think cents. it covers, I mean, it, it just covers just time. You it on the inside on the of an envelope. envelope. <laughs> 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 salad just smashed into an envelope. And at $55,000, that should be enough money to cover the cost of sending, or not not just the cost, but the time it would take you to, you know, lick and stamp yeah. all those gonna, envelopes. A bite, you're going to have to put in one of those little one-ounce solo cup things. It's, you could get the, uh, the, the to-go There's no uh, shooters. Ob- well, I mean... Y- if you just spread it on the inside of the envelope, that's still a bite's worth of potato salad. You're gonna if you spread it on the inside of an envelope, the postal uh, workers are gonna come to your house and kill you. <laughs> it turns to powder. They accuse you of sending anthrax. It's it, a senator had pledged this thing, and now the the Capitol building has to be cleared out. And now, <laughs> this is where things get to go cr- are going crazy here. Things uh, are going crazy now. Like after he got fifty five yeah, thousand dollars, the bite's a problem. No, this salad. is crazy right here. Pledge okay. five dollars or more. If now five hundred eighty nine people did this. Deluxe package. Choose a potato salad appropriate ingredient. Okay, potato salad appropriate, I guess. So that could restrict the possible options to add to the potato salad. Uh, So I don't think there are 589 possible uh, potato salad appropriate ingredients. So I guess some of those backers will have to agree on the same ingredient being thrown into the potato salad. But having 589 people get to decide which ingredients go into the potato salad could make for quite a bit of a messy concoction. Oh, yeah. I could uh, I could imagine that some people had pledged the $5 just to make a completely inappropriate <laughs> yes. suggestion. Yeah. Uh, number, Bleach. And then you get this, you know, <laughs> like with all these things, you get the same stuff the other people got from the lower level. So, yeah, so you get to choose an item and then all the other stuff. Pledge $10 or more. Over 460 people went with this one. This is where you get to hang out in the kitchen with him while he makes the potato salad. That's pretty easy. How many? 400 and 464 what? backers on it, this it one. It doesn't mean that he has to. I mean, he could make uh, p- potato salad whatever day is. You tell somebody the day that you're going to make. You know, this is your day to hang out in the kitchen. Yeah. You don't make it. You don't make it. I don't think that's a problem. Number, uh, the next one up, $20 or more. Only Now, only four people did this one. Uh, potato Madness. Rece- well, there are only four available. Receive a potato salad-themed haiku written by me. <laughs> Your name carved into a potato that will be used in the potato salad, a sign jar of mayonnaise, the potato salad recipe, and hang out in the kitchen and all the other stuff. Pay uh, Pledge $25 or more. 289 people did this. The hat. Receive a potato salad themed hat along with a bite of the potato salad and etc. etc. And all of these, by the way, are estimated to be delivered by December. So he's going to have four months uh, to get these things fulfilled. I mean, that sounds like a real tall order. I am receiving this... word that you did have to go to his house to get a bite of the potato salad. So okay. he was not going to be sending uh, potato anthrax the through mail. the mail. Yeah. I think this guy, this is deliverable. Um, I think this guy can do this. And especially, you there's cons- more. you've got to consider that how many Americans are out of work right now. I mean, $55,000 for uh, a little over, a little under a half a year's work. Not, it's a bad, not, bad. not bad. That's true. It's not bad. We'll come back with more here. Uh, and you can share your thoughts toll free. 855 450 free. Uh, we still have to talk about the Zen Magnets thing. I know we, yeah, we, we have left that one that. dangling. Uh, we'll come back here in a moment. Dangling balls here on Free Talk Live. <laughs> We were talking about the guy who's raised over $55,000 in order to uh, make a potato salad. And he did this on Kickstarter. His original goal was to raise $10. He raised $55,000 and uh, you know blew through his goal here. Now we're kind of going over some of the perks that you get. Because in order to do these fundraisers online, you usually probably want to offer perks to people to sweeten the deal. Of course, the problem with the perks is... In this is- case, he's just adding mayonnaise to it. 
I haven't seen anything about mayonnaise yet, but there Who is something. Who sweetener to potato salad, man? There is something which would allow you, if you had uh, bought in to add mayonnaise to the potato salad, you could add you know various different potato salad appropriate ingredients. There you could hang out in vinegar, his kitchen. Vinegar-based potato salads, but mayonnaise, I think, is pretty mm-hmm. common in potato salad. You could hang out in his kitchen, uh, according to a pledge. Uh, let's see if you pledged, I believe, $20. No, <laughs> wait a minute. $10. All you have to do is pledge, pledge $10. You can hang out in his kitchen. If you pledge $20, you get a potato, uh, potato-themed potato haiku. Your name would be carved into a potato that we used in the salad, a signed jar of mayonnaise, the, t- the potato salad recipe, hang out in the kitchen, uh, choose an ingredient to add to the p- potato salad, receive a bite of the salad, get a photo of him making the salad, a thank you posted to his website, and he'll say your name out loud while making the potato salad. So again, each one of these Higher and higher pledged dollar amounts includes pretty much everything that was in the ones prior to it. Twenty-five dollars or more. Two hundred eighty-nine people uh, signed up for this. They will receive a potato salad-themed hat along with the rest of the stuff. Uh, you do have to add ten dollars to ship the hat outside the United States. Pledge thirty-five dollars or more. Five hundred eighty-five people did this. The the homage T-shirt. Receive a limited edition T-shirt designed and printed by Columbus, Ohio T-shirt company, Homage. And then all the rest of the stuff as well. You know, the bite of the salad, etc. Pledge $50 or more. 106 people did this. Potato salads of the world. Receive a recipe book with potato salad recipes inspired by each country where we have a backer. <laughs> Oh wow! This guy really could. This is a great um, uh, GoFundMe or whatever it is, uh, Indiegogo. Uh, this you know, is a Kickstarter, I think. Kickstarter. Right? Yeah, Kickstarter, whatever it is, it's really well done. That's the reason this guy did so well. Yeah, I think um, I have to come up with something creative. Like um, I don't know, I'm going to make macaroni salad. I think you can and shoot I, a paper clip. Would this work? Well, you <laughs> well, don't get well, to mess with my paper clips. Would the macaroni salad work the second time? I mean, uh, the guy's already kind of won this by doing the potato salad. How often do the imitators actually yeah. meet their goals? Oh, I think that this this joke's good one time. Yeah. Uh, finally, this what do you is mean the final joke? one. I mean, it seemed like a sound investment to give this guy fifty thousand dollars <laughs> to make potato salad. Uh, if you pledged $110 or more, and only 21 people did this, you are the Platinum Potato. Receive the recipe book, the shirt, and the hat, along with a bite of the potato salad and all the other stuff. So there you go. You get everything uh, with that. So I'm sorry. I was wrong. Each one of these pledges did not in- include everything from the pledges before it. So if you uh, if you got the hat thing, you wouldn't necessarily get the shirt. You would have to buy the hat thing and the shirt thing or the, the bigger one. Or the big so. one. I wonder if somebody's like walking around wearing that hat and shirt right now. Or, well, this isn't going to be deliverable until December, I guess. So That's true. Some fool is going to be out there with a potato salad <laughs> hat and shirt, and he's going to be like, I paid like 150 bucks for this outfit, and uh, I got a real chuckle out of it at the time. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 